blink and you'll really miss it. But this sighting of an otter has got environmentalists extremely excited because it's the first time one has been seen on the River Rother since 2001 and it was discovered all by accident. We've had some mink rafts out um, for quite a while now. We've been trying to run a mink control project, trying to eradicate the mink on the River Rother. Um, and we happened to put a camera on one of the rafts and monitor it just to see what we would find and get some footage of the mink. Um, and we happened to find uh, otters as we were strolling through the footage. The otter population began to decline as pesticides and other chemicals fed into rivers up and down the country. 45 years ago, there were otter hunts like this one on the Rother, and it was something that angered protesters even then. And we're going to continue to do this. And they're getting violent. I've been threatened to be thrown in the river, but I'm waiting for one hand to get on me, and we'll see who lands in the river. Fast forward to today, and it's a little quieter. Chris and his team are putting up more cameras and mink traps with the aim of seeing if any more otters are back in the river here. But why is it so important and why should we care? Well, otters are, are an apex predator, so they're, they're top of the food chain. Um, so you need a real balanced ecosystem before you can get any otters. Um, so you need food for the otters, which is fish, and then you need food for the fish to eat. You need habitat for the fish, you need habitat for the food for the fish. So you need a really broad ecosystem just to support the one top predator which is the same in any ecosystem, any habitat. But that's not always gone down well with anglers, as otters would often eat their fish, leaving nothing left for them to catch. But this find has got them on side too. When there's lots of sand that gets washed into the river, the plants suffer, the bugs suffer, the fish suffer, and ultimately there's, there's no breakfast for Mr Otter. The reality is plenty of good habitat, plenty of fish for both the angler and the otter. Work to improve the habitat here is now well underway to encourage more fish and therefore more otters. It's the latest sighting of many from around the country. Those in charge here will be hoping it's the first of more to come. Edward Saltz, BBC South Today, on the banks of the River Rother.